Hello, Boring View Nation, Gabe, Nick, and we are here today to bring you another song reaction. That's right, this guy over here is still trying to sell me on his version of rock, right? My version. His, the his version, version. The world's version, yeah. <laughs> Somebody in the comments were like, dude. You're not qualified. What do you say, sir? You're not qualified to talk about genres. Or why are you talking? Why are Americans so concerned with genres? Isn't that a big, big thing? Think about it. And 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 I appreciate the comments. But let's be real. In the Grammys, and at least maybe people that don't, you know, for the uninitiated, I know we got an international uh, uh, audience. But listen, the Grammys, at least here in America and even worldwide, that's the pinnacle, right, of success in the music industry. There's different genres in the Grammy. They don't put up rap. Along with rock, along with R and B, along with award. the, you know what I mean, bro. <laughs> the Spanish people, the, the Spanish, and I'm Hispanic, so I can say this. The Spanish were so pissed off about Lee being left off, they created their own thing. The Latin Grammys. By the way, is that like you know the copyright infringement that they created their own thing, or is it actually a part of the Grammy? Somebody oh, let me know in the comments. I'm sure. Is I'm it an sure. actual Grammy? Cause I'm sure, the Grammys probably started it. I've never heard of the jam, the the, the, the German Grammys, to or go against your the Japanese Grammys. They have a rock award, not a heavy metal rock award, not a soft rock, not a alternative rock. It's just a rock Grammy. You just always want to throw <laughs> shit on me, though. So we're gonna check out some Pink Floyd today, and this is a song that I absolutely love. I mean, all these songs I love, but this one I absolutely love. Wish you were here. Um, and this is from some called Pulse. I'm assuming that was like a, a, a show that they did. A lot of the comments in our comfortably numb reactions said you got anything from Pulse, anything from Pulse. I don't even know what that is, but here we go. We have the Pulse restored and re-edited so version. I'm just curious. Is this like, hello, hello, hello? Is there anybody in there? Like, like you know what? That's the kind of accent because they gave me the singing, but then when it gets to the music, it just gets to the music yeah, and they destroy a, it. So I'm not sure if it's going to go as far as destroy, but this is this is a softer song for sure. Okay. But it's just such it's just such a great song. It just goes together so perfectly. Not sure if you're going to like it. We can only find out by listening to it and seeing. If you like our reaction in any way, his reaction mainly, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And... Uh, Dude, that's on my rotation. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> and that one you were nervous about. I was They nervous. killed you when you said background music. Because at the beginning, dude, it was like super slow. And everyone was like, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> okay, guys, I apologize there, Powder. <laughs> Here we go. Uh. There is something about uh, live performances that are impressive. They're still going. Say, oh, acoustic. Yes, I know the difference. <laughs> I'm impressed. Oh, Ryan made me learn it in college, the difference. Here, it's so crisp. 
so So you think you can tell Heaven from hell Blue skies from pain Can you tell it me feel From a cold steel rain A smile from a veil Do you think you can tell they get you in trade Your heroes for ghosts Hard ashes for trees Hard air for a cool breeze Cold comfort for change Did you exchange Walk on part in the world For a lead role in a cage I didn't realize he was singing because I was so nervous. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't realize that either. Drink. I'm not going to lie. That's awesome. So, you know, it's crazy because one of the things that to me is most memorable from this song, aside from the acoustic guitar, I think this is the first time we played one for me that, yeah. I mean, just is basically, you know, it had the acoustic guitar. Um, I think maybe one of the Beatles ones had uh, acoustic guitar. I can't remember. But, dude, it was so clear. It was so crisp. And I don't know if it was because of live performance. This is not my usual kind of song. But it's going to be added, dude. I yeah, liked absolutely. it because it's more like, you know, like one, for instance, right? Because, you know, one, I, I, I love Nirvana one, but that's so different Metallica. from uh, Metallica. Sorry, Metallica one. That's so different from Nothing Else Matters. But I wake up to Nothing Else Matters every day. And that one, although it does have its own guitar solo, is also a slower, more ballad kind of song or whatever. Something you can relax to and almost get emotional over. You know what I mean, dude? Like, this is... This is not workout music. This isn't just gym rage music or whatever. You know what I mean? This is more like chill vibes. And yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'm liking it. I, I, I'm digging Pink Floyd. I mean, it's the second Pink Floyd song I've heard. And they've got a little bit of a different style. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Um, 
like at one point, like I was closing my eyes and I thought it was the guitar, but it was his voice that he got up that high. And you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not really about the singers, but I, I don't know, man. I really enjoyed it. And it's going to be added. You know, not my rage out the gym, but I added it, but more like, you know what, chill, throw in the background while I'm working, you know what I mean? While I'm hanging out with the wife, you know, uh, 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 just, you know, I, it, it was a great song. Every time I hear this song, it like, it raises in my own personal favorite song charts every single time. It's just, it's, it may be a perfect song in so many different ways. And it also, I don't know what the context is, what it was written for, but the first time I was introduced to, I mentioned it before, was 9-11 just happened. And, and uh, Fre Fred Durst from um, Limp Bizkit, who's not really known for his, his singing chops, right? right? And um, John Resnick from the Goo Goo Dolls, they did an acoustic dual performance of this song um, for a, a fundraiser to help those who had fallen in their families. And when he says, wish you were here, he looks right into the camera and it was such like a point, it's a genuine thing. It was just, it was really, really nice and beautiful. And it got me into this song and I heard their version and it's 10 times better, obviously. <laughs> And it's just, it's a great song. I love that line. We're just two lost souls swimming in a fishbowl right. year after year. I mean, you're just in that rat race. You're like, right. we're just going around and around, not realizing that we're not really going anywhere. Right. Um, but I'm curious. I got to look it up who they're talking about or what they're talking about. Wish you were here. Beautiful song. Glad you liked it. Hopefully you, like, you liked our reaction to it. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let us know what should be the next Pink Floyd song because they have some other songs that are very unique, but also very glorious. They're a very interesting band. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time. We know all things.